Okay, so this is a short video about how to save your work for later. So along the way, you guys will be making animations or making little pieces of artwork on this software, and you want to save your stuff for later because maybe you want to take a break, or maybe you want to go and do something else, or maybe you want to eat lunch, or maybe you want to do, you know, whatever you want to do with your free time outside of school. Um, now, to say that, you may make a lot of progress on something and may, may get tired of working on it or whatever, but along the way, you need to save things so you don't lose your progress. So let's say I'm just going to zip through this and make a quick little animation here, kind of using the same thing that maybe you've seen in some of the other tutorials, just making a little circle. Um, if you want to know how to do the animation parts of this, I have another video that I have uploaded or will upload uh, for you guys to, ca to Canvas so you get an understanding of how to uh, animate something. I'm not talking about that in this video. I talked about it in depth in the longer form video and also talked about it in that video. So if you want to know that, go to that video. It'll be titled appropriately. It'll say how to animate something in pixel art. So let me do this very quickly just to kind of get a simple animation here. And some and this is old news to some of you because you're already familiar with this kind of thing. So I only need three frames. I'll preview this. Okay, I've got my animation working. Now we need to save our work for later. So I've spent all my time drawing this and making it look nice and pretty. I've spent maybe hours on it because I'm really into it or maybe I spent a little while on it and I'm getting exhausted of uh, using this software or whatever. But sometimes, whenever you guys come back to this software, um, you will have uh, your work open for you whenever you open this tab. Now that does not always happen. So my recommendation to you is that always at the end of a session or 15 minutes or something is that you save your work. Because I know that many of you guys don't keep your laptops that well charged or something's going on or they, the power goes out or your laptop's about to die. Um, don't trust it. I would save your work every 15 minutes or if your laptop's plugged up or has a lot of charge, I would save it at the end of every session whenever you're working on your uh, assignment. So. Let me go over here to the top right hand corner of the screen. Let's see, I'm all done with this for now. I want to come back to it later. I need a mental break. So if I follow my mouse, right, my mouse is here. If you can't see it, um, I'm going to go to the top right hand corner of the screen where it says save drawing. Now, this is something you need to be very mindful of whenever you're starting your work. Always make sure this is available to you before you start doing anything. The reason why is because sometimes it doesn't show up for students. It gets lost along the way. And again, I don't think you want to lose your progress or not have your work save. Um, there's not much you can do about the issue other than you just need to pay attention to it from the very, very beginning on how to save your work. So in the top right-hand corner of the screen, hit the Save Drawing button. You're going to come to the screen like this. Now, when it says Save As, whatever, there's a lot of options over here on the left-hand side. We want to save ours as a .pixel file. What that means at the end of the file name, you guys are going to have uh, something that says, you know, maybe name it art class, and I'll save as art class dot pixel. Um, maybe you've noticed in other file types, like it saves as dot doc, dot jpeg, dot whatever, if you've paid that much attention to it whenever you've doing work for your other classes. So for us, you're going to go to save as dot pixel, click that option, and a little box is going to come up like this. Maybe I want to save this as circle animation or something. Um, so I do that and I click OK. So now you'll notice for me, it came up, it will maybe you can't see this outside of the application, but it came up in you know a separate window or whatever. So now that's saved for me. Um, it's saved for later. I'm good to go. And I should be able to open that. So let's say that you want to open your work. Uh, and I'll maybe we'll do a separate video for this as well, but I'm just going to include this in this video. So in the top left hand corner of the screen, let's say you come back to this and it's not opened anymore. Go to file, go to open.pixel. Whenever you do that, there's a lot of options here. So I save mine as circle animation. Yours is going to be on Google Drive. It'll probably be underneath your recent files. Um, this should open for you automatically whenever you get there, uh, whenever you click open.pixel. So click circle animation, click open, click OK, and it's going to bring back up what you had before here. So you can continue modifying that. So that's it for this one. This is how to save your work for later if you are not done finished or you're not done with it yet, or you have not created a finished piece. Um, this is only if you're in process. I will make a separate video of how to save your work when you're finished because I don't want you guys to get confused. Okay.